Let's do this. Binary is pretty good. I'm trying to sort out what I did for work today versus what I'm actually playing here. Looks like we're working on workshops. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, let's minimize this, get that out of the way. Get that moved over there. Let's get our dwarven therapist connected up. You can always tell when Dwarven Therapist is up because it's like a giant light on my face because of the background. Alright, we had just parked all of our commoners from the last migration wave. Alrighty. And it looks like we're getting ready to smooth that out. We're working in the hospital, which means we're also going to need some traction benches. Alrighty. We're also going to need some extra tables. Do have some metal started? This is good. Let's see here. Surface is looking good. Ah, gotta get the roof started too. Alright. Build, see, down, stairs. We have this. We go up a floor. We go up one more floor. Granite blocks. There. JM. Let's take a just a brief look through our work orders here. Fine meal, totems, it's not a big deal. I think we've used up all of our skulls for now. I can pull that out. Beds, weather bags, process plants, don't care, don't care, rock, stuff, don't care, sand, serrated green glass, rock armor stands. All right, good. So that's where we're at. Let's unpause this for a moment. We've got some semblance of a military. We're still lacking in weapons. They should all have silver war hammers at this point. We've got spare training axes and whatnot. We still need a barracks to find. I think our guys are pretty well done with the whole digging stuff. So we can get them to work on an actual barracks. Alrighty, we've channeled out. Our furniture is going to start moving here. Let's see here. Yep, make it. You made it just in time there, Nippy Cat. We just started. You haven't missed much anything. Um, let's see here. Let's get a barracks going. Plus, we'll get some bonus marble out of this here. We already have a training facility up above, so we just want one for weapons, armor. Let's get a hallway. Get an office slash another noble quarters for our captain of the guards. So we'll get that storage taken care of here. Let's actually line that up so it's a little more decent looking. Let's just drop you down here and we'll move you over to here. And yeah, let's clean that out. Nah, good enough for government work. It'll keep our miners moderately busy. Beds are getting shoved around, stuff is moving around. So far, so good. Still need, if I remember right though, I think I'm still short on mine cards, aren't I? Yeah, we got, actually no, we should have a decent number here. Let's go hauling, vehicle, yeah, we're good. We're all caught up on our quantum stockpiles. All right, what have we got over here for you guys in chat? This is my first time in a stream. I love me some Dwarf Fortress. I will try to do what I can there. What is it? Uh, uh, Solarin? Solarin, am I getting that right? So. Yeah. Again, if you guys have questions, just ask them in the channel. I'll, I'll try to answer them as best as I can as I go through this, so. That is half the reason, oh. Our official season change. Winter has arrived. Or arrived. Arrived? Arrived. That'll work. Looks like we got some copper, too. I can do some copper bolts, I think. That would work well. Well, 
Let's see, how's the volume going right now? It's a little low. I can probably boost it just a tad here. Of course, it would help if I actually move this. Recording devices. Alrighty, hold on here. Let's try boosting that to about 20. How's that sound? A little bit better? You guys are probably about two minutes behind me, but I'm going to slide this over here. I got that open, so just say uh, louder or quieter, and I will tweak that as we go. I'm also going to need a spot for ammo. Loud and clear? Okay. All right, we'll leave it there then. Some marble, all is good there. We got a couple guys hauling. I think we got like four haulers now. Let me double check that here. How many haulers do we actually have? Ooh, we got five haulers. That should be plenty. There's plenty of rock getting moved around, beds are getting hauled. So far, so good. We haven't had our big. Uh, poultry explosion yet, but we should be getting there here uh, soon. Uh, we do also have our crypt. Did that ever get placed? Yes. Q. R. Make a tomb. And we're not going to use anybody in that tomb yet. They're starting to put some caskets in there. P. Custom. Disable. We're going to go with ample. Enable. <clears throat> Any non metal ammunition can go in these piles. We're going to do four of them here. One, like that. Boom. There. Q. Let's make sure there are no bins allowed. There. Then all we need to do periodically is uh, come through and reclaim those. But now, because they're already in a stockpile, they're not going to be running around trying to haul them and all that crap. So that just cuts down on a few more work orders. We are making surprisingly good progress on our pit down here. We've almost got all the stone used up. Alrighty. Let's check our stockpile of weapons and see what we have at our disposal. We got our silver war hammers. We've got a couple crossbows, although some of these have got to be underground because I don't remember making that many of them. We have plenty of wood crossbows. So I think we're okay. I think I can kill my repeating orders. Cancel and cancel. Now we can start moving towards getting some metal done. Chickens, build, workshop, you, just so we don't violate that door pulling birds out. We'll put a butcher shop in there too, just to make sure. Build workshop N. That and putting those birds in their place so they can see the butcher shop as it's happening. Infants has grown up to a dwarven child. This is good. He can feed himself. Alrighty. And one of our decorated beds. 
I think just made it into the hospital. Let's go V. I think I specified those to be, no, K. K is my look. D maybe? I don't know. There we are. V. Yep, it's one of our decorated ones. Well-crafted willow bed. It is encrusted with uh, trillion cut lapis lazulis. Awesome. So our first bed in our hospital is done. I'm still waiting on the cabinets. I gotta get those cabinets moving here soon. And Lord knows why they're not cruising along. I better get them on repeat somewhere. No, no, they're there. We're just short on masons. Um... What else could my masons be busy doing? I really need to get that hospital up and running. I'm going to temporarily go to our commoner pool here and just dump masonry on all of them. That's one thing that's nice about having the, the dwarves group like they are. If I need to turn something on temporarily, I can just go to that pool of commoners and sometimes my soldiers and just shove them at a task until it gets done. So. We'll let that go, and hopefully we'll get uh, our furniture moving along here. And let's see here. We can unsuspend that, remove, no, not repeat, cancel. All right, we are, let's see, tourmaline, quotes, pink, you know, we're gonna have a consensus here on that. Hopefully our jewel crafters get skilled up here and start moving. All righty. Uh, seems to be working. Why not use it in theater mood? Seems good enough for me. Beds are complete. So we got meals and beds done. Awesome. Our dining hall is starting to look slick. We've already got one artifact just chilling in there. Useless ring, but I really wish Tony would put in vanilla like a display case for artifacts. Um, there were a couple mods that had that, that I used to tinker with. I always liked that. It's a way to really display a particular artifact. Alrighty, let's finish up here with some more bed placement. here. We're not worried about decorated beds here in this context. And we're doing this to get them out of our pending decoration. Just to cut down on the number of beds. Because we want to get our cabinets and our stuff taken care of there as well. What else did we just finish? Mine carts are done. Good. That also means my carpenter has a lot of free time right now. That, not so good. Go faster. What is that? Threyhawk? Yeah, a little tricky to read red on black, but I got that. Yeah, uh, Threyhawk. Nice to have you. It's always good to have visitors. Makes my free time just all that much more entertaining. All right, we have a cabinet finally in our hospital. So now I can actually define that hospital zone here. And we're going to say hospital. I just leave everything at default. And now that we actually have a cabinet there, we should see some guys start hauling stuff up in there. Um, bandages, plaster, all that kind of stuff. And they'll get that populated in. So, okay, first weapon locker's done. P, P again, weapons, and I ain't picky at this point. Weapons. All our weapons can get stored there, which means we can also come up to our overflow, and that's one less thing in this stockpile. Settings, weapons, disable. There. 
Those can get all tossed down there. That's going to finally get all of our training weapons out of the way and a lot of that kind of crap. So that'll be taken care of. Alrighty. Okay, we've got leather, we've got cloth. We have wood upstairs. I'm not terribly worried about that. Um, we are going to need soap. So build, workshop. We need an ashery. I'll make it out of microline blocks and barrel, sure, bucket, sure. And a soap maker. We have enough spare buckets, so we're good there. And I'm gonna do something here. Just dig. Quick little channel so you can go up and get fuel uh, reasonably quick. Good. That'll clean up our floor just a tad. Alrighty, how are we doing up here? I think our staircase is finally complete. Yes, it is. Build, see, now we're going to need a lot of masons. A lot. We'll just do them one chunk at a time, though. And we'll start here. Granite blocks. Build the sea floor. Can't quite make that. Yeah, let's just pull that back in just a hair. Granite blocks. Oh, we only got nine left. I really want to use just blocks, so... We'll just do that first batch and we'll let our block count recharge a bit. So far it's been pretty mellow in the fortress, so we're okay for now. We've got plenty of people with uh, masonry, stone smoothing. We've got enough bulk projects right now. We'll just start on the floor just a little bit. What else did we get? We got Dopey Mouse. Dopey Mouse, again, I got it's Monday. Uh, let's see here, did I miss anybody else? I think I got everybody there so far. So, again, always glad to have you. And again, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, if I were a funny or entertaining individual, I'd, uh, I'd try to do something to jazz it up for you guys here, but I'm a pretty laid back, really not my thing. Ah, I know a project that we do need to start. Once we get these last rooms dug out, we have to start working on our cistern. So, JMQ, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five floodgates. We can make them out of rock. I'm gonna need three grates. Actually, no, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. 19. Q. Rock. Great. 19. And we can get started on that. Come on, miners. Finish it up. You'll notice up here in the hospital we have this spot dug out. That's ultimately going to be for a well. We are going to put a well in our dining hall as well question is just where. Preferably somewhere where nobody's going to get killed. H. Let's put it right there. It's a corner. Nobody's going to be pathing there frequently. No chance of somebody getting knocked in and dying. Three things when doing a cistern. You're going to need a way to fill it, obviously. You're going to need a way to drain it, if not continually drain it. And there are some tricks on how to continually drain a well. Basically, if you have three inputs and you have one drain, you're going to be fine. Um, and you're going to need a way to turn it off and do maintenance. Um, one of the things that will end up happening is somebody will fall in there, they'll die, they'll rot. Um, 
some super beast, uh, you know, forgotten beast critter gets down there, contaminates the water, you need a way to seal off the water, drain it all out, and then you can reset it. So you're going to have to have a way to basically open the faucet and close it. All right, we have a baby. We got to keep that in our head. We still have the baby gets dropped for whatever reason and starves to death. Another one. We're getting to the point where we don't have to pause every kid. We can wait a few kids. Yeah, they won't. Uh, they won't take it out until they need it, because it's already in a stockpile. So, and I'm pretty sure we turned it off, didn't we? Yeah. So, once there's a bin needed somewhere else, and that's the last bin available, then somebody will go grab it and address that. Okay, weapons. Good grief, they're pounding them out like crazy. What are they, rabbits or dwarves? What is that, five now? Interrupted by giant capybara. Where on earth is that? Oh, the entrance of my horrible trap area. You must have tried to cross. Got hit by a trap. I could have sworn I had some hunters for that. Now what? Oh, good grief. Another kid. Coming out left, right, and straight. They're making progress on the roof. We'll try to weasel our way down so we can get our uh, statue garden covered. So if they throw a party in the rain, they're not getting rained on at least. Alrighty. Ten idlers, it's a little high. How many doors do I have? 10% is about my limit. Eight, yeah, close enough for government work. Could be soldier off duty. Alright, this farm got built. Let's just double up on some plump helmets one season. We'll go... Yeah, we can do rat weed apparently. We can do cave wheat, that's for beer. D, we'll do plump helmets again. Just so we can keep our booze uh, industry up and running. Yeah, this is true. They do live in burrows. That explains a lot. Of course, when you're living underground most of the time, I guess your your options for fun and entertainment are somewhat limited. All right, here. of amount of wood here soon like the whole map worth since I do not have lava yet I'd really like to wait for our first siege because I know at least I get a, a month in between usually for such a big task all right JMQ ash I need some soap I'm gonna go ash give me 30, Q, lie, make lie, give me 30, Q, soap, from tallow, give me 30, kitchen, do I even have any tallow stockpiled? No, but we will soon. Once we can start getting our butchery work done, then that's all going to come into play. Smooth, there we are. Alright, I could have sworn I had a guy on hunting duty. I'm going to go check here. Nobles. Yeah, Toulon is our hunter. I'm going to give you a nickname so I can keep track of you. You will be Nimrod. Nimrod, the mighty hunter. Alrighty. Hopefully, 
you get the task on that. Ah, crap. <sighs> Dish mull set of Crafter withdraws from society. Alright, let's see where this lunatic goes. He's got a lot more options now than he did in the past. Pick a forge. Pick a forge. Pick a forge. No. No, no, no. Damn it, he's going to the jewelry shop. Oh no, he could be going to the craft store. Where's he going? Craft. Eh, a couple stones. Three stones. It's an awful lot of stone. It looks like he's stalled. What does he want? Rough cut gems, pictures of cut gems, pictures of a quarry, stack leather. Shit. Alright, emergency leather. What have I got? What can I spare? Animals. Uh, can't really spare any of that. I'm not going to get any leather out of the chicks. Yeah, I could go with the, the puppies. Hmm, we've captured a bear. One of those capybara thingies. We'll butcher that guy. Must have got caught in a cage trap. Or, damn, somebody's pet. Ram, alpaca, that's really all I got. Unless I get that hunter doing his job. Which isn't likely. So, my patrol team could hunt. If you think about it, they're going to be doing nothing but patrolling the uh, the upper floor. They're going to be equipped with bows. Why don't I just assign all of them to be hunters? They'd get some bow training out of it. Right? Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a bad idea in the end? Military. Who is my patrol team? People. Stuka. Da -da 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 -da. Eh, no, I think it would be a really dumb idea. Probably not such a good idea. Okay. Shoot. Well, let's see if somebody gets that leather work going. We're going to be running out of time fast. Also gonna need metal. What's my stockpile looking for? Metal. Metal. Bars, bars, bars. Bars, 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 bars. I have 52 iron, 114 silver, 4 copper, zinc, and this, this. And I'm almost out of charcoal again. Damn. But I can't, I've got enough iron, I can make some iron arrows. So let's do that here. JMQ, charcoal. Get another pair of 30s in there. Charcoal, 30. And then let's get iron arrows. Bolts, bolts, bolts. Gotta keep correcting myself on that. Let's get an order of 30 in. I think there's 15 in a bundle, something like that. Military, patrol team. Uh, let's see here. I believe it is F for ammunition. Hunters, we're going to go material, metal, patrol team, material, metal. We are done using bone at this point. No more bone, none of that. We'll be a okay. Now, if I set this up right, and this, I think this has been fixed, let's double check here. We'll give it a test here. Control team, we can go add item. The total count can't be more than 250. Is it a bundle? Yeah, bolts, material, we'll go bone. This is not for combat, this is not for training. So, I think I have to reduce this to 150, which is. Minus, oh, yeah, I guess we can go this way. There. There, and I think that's how that should work. So there's metal, 
bone, we're good. Hunters, we only want them using metal. Intercept team, you don't get ammunition anyway. So they should use bone bolts for training, and they should use metal bolts for actual combat. Okay, I'm going to need double the amount of crossbows. No problem, Blind. It's, uh, it's, again, it's an opportunity for me to share my spare time. Another kid, holy sweet mother of God. I'm really popping them out here. We are getting a reasonably decent looking uh, crypt, which I have a bad feeling we're going to end up using. What is this? Is this yarn, yarn, and thread. I have sworn I disabled cloth in the stockpile. No, I did not. And I didn't disable leather either. I can get rid of those two. I can also get rid of armor. I can also get rid of ammo. Bars and blocks. Gems. We're almost done there. We're almost done there. Alright, let's go down here real quick. P, we want armor. D. There we go. And we need Z for ammo. Now there's a weird, I don't know if he's fixed it or not yet with ammunition and being in bins and all that, so we're going to be disabling bins on this just so we don't have to worry about that. The rest seems to work just fine. I see lots of blocks getting made. This is good. I see a lot of stone getting cleared out. That's even better. We still don't have our leather though. Urgh. That guy is going to go batshit nuts if we don't get some leather. Okay, we're going to go over to Dwarven Therapist real quick. Sort by race so I can select everybody at once because everybody's a dwarf. Butchery, everybody. Tanning, everybody. Everybody and their cousin. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. Um, do, 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 do. The odd thing though is my rabbits aren't breeding. And of all the things, rabbits, you'd figure those would be the one animals that would be breeding like nuts. And they're not. Don't know if it's a glitch or if there's just too big of an area. Ooh, wait, I have a pig there, it looks like. I don't need a pig. Animal. Uh, search. Sow? No. Pig? No. Boar? Damn, your pets. I cannot butcher pets. Mm. Really hoping that hunter does something here spectacular and fast. I don't even have spare dogs to butcher. Do I have any cats? I hate doing cats, but at this point, I don't have much of an option to search cat. Well, yeah, I don't have any kittens, so they all grew up at least. Let's see here, we got a few extra, mostly males. Let's get rid of three males. Come on. Pull it off! Stay on target. Can't shake him. Stay on target. I'm too fat. Ah. You ever notice everybody fat in Star Wars, at least the first original three films? All die. Jabba dies. Porkins dies. You'd swear that uh, George Lucas had something against fat people. Stray cat's been slaughtered. Now I just need somebody to get the tanning done. What else does this guy need? Cut gems, you've got plenty. Stone, you've already got. Stacked leather, that's the big key. Crossing fingers, JM. Let's make sure we're 
Let's remove the leather bag just to make sure. Let's remove the collect sand just to make sure. So any leather he gets does not get get used up here. We're fine there. I don't have anybody actually forging those arrows because I probably don't have anybody assigned for that profession. Crafters. I got one weaponsmith. That's really all I got going. I don't have any metal crafters and I have no blacksmiths. So I'm just going to throw on all my crafters here. Blacksmithing and metal crafting just to see if that catches the arrow guys. I don't remember who makes arrows. I don't know if it's a weaponsmith or if it's the metal crafter. But we'll just throw it on there. I'm not worried about the quality of arrows. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what his deal was back then. Ah, our fruit bat has ran off to get some leather, hopefully. He is no longer hiding in his workshop, muttering things to himself. All I want to do is make a giant crown that nobody will wear. And then I can put it on George Lucas's neck. What is wrong with his neck? Plinkett was his name, by the way. i uh, been doing some research for the Plinkett homage uh, deal when I get around to it. Mr. Plinkett from Red Letter Media. That's who that guy is. Alrighty, looks like we've got some more decor for our mayor. Let's see how pissed he is. No office. Uh, it's because you don't have a table and chairs there yet. We'll get there. All right, he's carrying the skin of a cat. Gross. Now he's going to go get his gem. And it looks like we've got a decent stockpile of some gems here, too. You have not started something. You're still missing something. What could you possibly be missing? Rough gems, you've got. Cut gems, you've got. Quarry, you've got plenty of blocks and stone. Stacks, plural. Maybe he needs more leather. He should be getting some more leather here shortly. Our wood burner should be doing some decent, making some decent progress. are hauling out more blocks left and right. We got one really bored looking miner. Plenty of helmets it looks. Everybody should be wearing a helmet. Oh, yep, he ran off. He's going to get a second piece of leather. Somewhere. Deep in our fortress lies a madman muttering something to himself, carrying around the w still wet skin of a cat. Gross! Meow. Meow. Eh, can't be that bizarre. All my dwarves are hard-coded to be able to eat sapient creatures, so they'll be more than happy to dine on elf tallow. I guess a cat isn't much of a stretch for these guys. Here, he's going to go get his rough gem. Looks like he's going to get another rough gem. What the hell is this guy making? It's made out of stone, cat skin, cut gems, more cut gems. Alright, this guy, remember, we got to make sure this guy gets a nickname here. I think we're going to call him the Cat Man. What is that? H, no, U S T H U G I S T L A B O N something or other. Let's see if I can find him here. U S T G I S T L A B O N something. He should show up here under current job with a weird marking. Strange mood. Where is it here? Eh, no. Sure, what is it here? Get the lucky he. There he is. Set nickname, the Catman. 
Why? Because we can. And he's using the dead skin of a cat, so we might as well. Yeah, I used, uh, I needed leather, so I butchered uh, three cats, and he was all too eager to use the cat skin for his project. Lord knows what he's making out of leather. Leather, rock, and gems. I, it, I'm still trying to figure out how the giant pieces of granite are getting used in this, so... I don't know, maybe it'll be like a nice stone throne or a door that's been padded with cat leather. I, I don't I don't know. It sounds really disturbing though. Ah, who am I kidding? I decorate all my furniture in the bones of uh, the dead, so he'll fit right in. Alrighty, they're getting blocks moving. I still have no movement on my arrows. I'm going to turn on weaponsmithing on all of these crafters real quick. Next time we get a big uh, migrant wave, we'll end up going back in and reorganizing everybody from scratch again. I just like to do that periodically. Come on. Come on. Show us your cool, awesome artifact. It'll be completely useless. And probably get stolen by a buzzard. Oh look, another ring. So he made a granite ring out of jewels and cat leather. Wow. That's pretty grisly. Now reread the dwarves and see what he got out of that for skill. The sturdy, where is Catman? There he is. He got a healthy dose of Jack and shit out of that for skill. But he gets to keep the nickname, why not? All right, what have happened here? Um, okay, we know that we're not alone in the world anymore. The primitive confederation is at war with our dwarves, and it looks like we lost Lancer, Bean Canyon, Page Action to them. Uh, couple minor mayor changes, but let's assume just for the sake of shit and giggles, we had ten sites when we started this game for our civilization. We've lost three out of ten. So it's just a matter of time before they come knocking at my door one way or the other. Also means that we could end up with a king sooner than we'd want. And they get real picky and finicky with their bedroom arrangement. Alrighty. Pause. Those are all dug out. Let's get that cistern started. First, we're going to tap the river. We'll come right over here. We're going to need a spot for fortification, a gate, a floodgate, and then some stairs down, which we'll put... They need to be about here. No, because we have to cut through there, so it's got to be here. Yep, that'll do. Okay. Oof, that's a long hallway. We'll have to pave that. Alrighty, so we're going to come down. Okay, here's our main floor. Cistern 1, Cistern 2. There. Okay. So that's going to give us a massive flow of water down to here. And we want to do a pressure reset. The way you do that is pressure gets reset by going diagonally. So that array where the water is forced to travel diagonally will reset the pressure so it doesn't flood back upwards. Then we need to plot for where we're going to put stuff here. So there's that and then here. And we need a way to get down there. We'll put our door here. Okay. Up. 
Oops. And there. Okay. So that's good. We will put a fishing location. I'd say right here. Each. Like so. We're going to cover that in grades. And we want that too deep. So there. Okay. Just mark that. And we'll mark that. And there we go. Okay. That ought to do for starters. All right, so the idea behind this is again, we're going to channel out some water, get it too deep. If you have wells or things like that, you don't want to have just one deep, you want it too deep for water. Keeps the water clean. Um, and if your fishing area is too water deep, you have a better chance of there being larger fish. If it's only one deep, you tend to just get mussels and turtles and things like that. So we'll get that cooking here. Grates. Oh, we haven't gotten any of our grates done, have we? Yeah, figured as much. We still have all that stonework going. Okay. It'll take us a while to get this all dug out anyway. Because I need this. We'll go here, come around here, and we'll just do that. There. That'll give them some access to, to actually get over to where they're going to be doing the water. What we'll end up doing then is we come up above the water and we're gonna channel it out. And I just realized I have a small problem. I gotta adjust that. We have to move that over one. That's fine, I don't mind a bend. This, as long as it's a decent size bin. There it is. There. Okay. No problem. Yeah, we might even get some iron out of this again. better best never let it rest until the good is better and the better is best Alrighty, here we do not have a captain of the guard yet but we're gonna need one here how is your you just need an office now and we're just waiting on tables and chairs do I have tables and chairs queued up anywhere that would probably be a smart thing to make sure Busy on that, you're busy on that. Let's get this area clean up. Build workshop mason. There. I don't care, we'll end up disassembling it later. Build workshop mason. Throw it over here. Groovy. Hold on for just a minute, I'll be right back. I think somebody's knocking at my door.
Auto softener. They forgot to give me my uh, bill when they filled it last time. They dropped it off. Okay. Well, none of my doors seem to be dead. Nothing in the alert log, so good. No problems there. Candy Graham. No, it was not a land shark. Although that would be incredibly awesome. Be like, I'm a dolphin. Oh, okay. Doors. Coffers, coffers, doors, okay. We're zeroing in. We're getting there. Just a matter of time. Hoping. Alright. Cistern project is pretty set. We've got enough where we can do our final digs here without people getting stuck. Alright, so. H. This needs to go down one more. This will need to go down one more. We want them to be able to get out quickly. So we need that set up there. We need to get out of there quickly. But ultimately, we can go here. And go about here. this we'll go three and three there that should be manageable where people aren't going to get stuck crossing fingers because dwarves are just goofy that way in fact what I could do is do this DX just to keep this safe That'll cut down on our number of dig operations enough where they should be able to get to the staircase and out. Then we'll finish it off later. And now I think of it, I think I did this one too deep. Oh well, we'll be fine. We will be a okay fine. This is going to be a very deep well. All right, we need a garbage spot now, just because we're going to need it here. Um, set it right there for now. No, I don't want... That's right, that key has changed. It is no longer gather. D for garbage dump. There we are. Now I have a spot for him to throw trash. Not real keen on doing that because it just adds more jobs that they can do once you put down that garbage spot, but it's time. They need a place to throw their trash. They can get back out. We're good. We're in the clear there. The hell? Weird noises from the dwarves. dog is fighting. What are you fighting? And where? Yak bull. Where the hell would there be a yak bull where the dogs would be? I'm pretty sure I'm anti-yak. I don't think I've gained any yaks. Seeing a whole lot of... Probably should get that captured 
bear trained a little bit so we can get it to the actual place to dump it. Oh, I see a problem. Yeah, you guys have bins. No bins. You guys got caught in a loop there. That would explain a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the hell the yak would be. But if you remember when we first started this uh, location, we had one dog run off after a yak. I'm wondering if that's the same dog and the same yak. Uh, this is my request from your merchants. Nothing, a whole hell of a lot of nothing. You just bring me random stuff. We'll call it even. Nobody cares. Still don't care. fighting. Oh yeah, there it is. Huh. Must have got caught in a training exercise or something. Oh well, a little fight between a little bird and a troop be good for him. Keep them all nimbly bimbly and spry. Hospital's still shaping up a bit. Looks like we got a good amount of whatever these red or brown, I'm colorblind. Okay, red tourmaline. Alright, so we can come over here. We got a decent supply of them. Add. Find them here in our list. Red tourmaline. EFR. Encrust with furniture. Repeat. They will not encrust a piece of furniture with the same gem. They'll put 15 different gems on it if you let them. But the way that we have our workflow set up, we don't get doubled up as long as we only do a repeat job of one gem at a time. That's why we don't put them in bins. We can kind of eyeball and see, yeah, I got a lot of blue ones. We'll do the blue ones next. And they'll keep them busy over a, a period of time. So you can see our little guy, he's going to grab a bed. He'll encrust it. He'll throw it here. And then we can get a bone guy to finish it off and then put it in this pile if somebody doesn't grab it already. Um, the nice thing about this is that we only have to do the bone decorating if they're not waiting on something because the moment he's done decorating it, somebody should be grabbing it for wherever it needs to be because we said decorated furniture. So, hey, perfect. Okay, looks like we got some uh, stink up here from somebody's rotten food. We're going to hop over to DF Hat Council and we're going to make sure we go clean owned which is a command uh, that you want to run periodically that just makes sure that they dispose of rotten food and things that they have lying around that they shouldn't. What died the mayor house? Uh, nothing, it's rotten food. Um, there's still a, an ongoing issue with dwarves will hold on to food or they'll leave food somewhere and then it's never reclaimed and then it rots. So you use the clean owned command and that tends to, to unstick that problem. Alrighty here. Boy, you do not have a lot of skill in encrusting furniture, that's for sure. Oof, duh. Yep, looks like somebody's going to come in here and grab the bed right off the bat, so it never even makes it to this stockpile. Which, again, for us, that's fine. As long as it's decorated once. Oh, don't worry, Butcher. Soon. Soon you will be really, really busy. So those eggs hatch, and once those that first uh, generation of birds start to uh, get old enough, uh, the, what, 30-some-odd nests I have in there, 25 nests, something like that, are all going to be packed full, we won't be able to keep up. Because we'll only have one or two people on Butcher duty. So by the time they get around to butchering the 35 or so birds you're going to have another generation of birds already ready, so that's one advantage. You can always throttle your production versus consumption by just limiting the number of people that can do a particular task. Butchery is a great example. 
you know, if you've got a hundred birds and you only have two butchers, you're never going to get to the point where you're going to clear out your birds ever. So that's one strategy that we're shooting for. All right, so our first part of our drain area is done here. The first thing we're going to do is do some fortifications. This is kind of our filter. We're going to try to filter out creatures and critters from slipping through. Some creatures, depending on how big they are, in water, because either water flow or pressure, will slip through the fortification. After the fortification, we're going to put a grate. Basically just wall grates. After that, we're going to put our floodgates. The idea is we're only going to keep the floodgates open as long as we need to to fill our cistern. Um, we can keep it open indefinitely, which may or may not help with fish moving in and out. Um, we could do that as well. It's just a matter of do we have the ability to seal it? Because once we put the floodgates up, or you can use a bridge too if you don't want to use floodgates, um, then they won't path. And that's a, a big plus for us. Yeah, we might do a bridge. Why not? Build G. We want it to raise. We need space for our grates. There. We'll make it out of claystone. Why not? Dig. We'll put a lever. A little spot for a lever. Yeah, we can use a bridge. And that just again allows us to open the, the floodgates up, let the water in, and then get it cleaned out. Because once the water flows over all of this dirt and debris, you're going to have trees and stuff growing and, and clogging it, so you're going to need to be able to turn it off at some point. Alrighty, we got 555. You should be able to make it to the 630 mark here, hopefully. All right, so that part's done. We still need our drain, but we're not quite done here. And we want to fill this just a tad bit faster. We can do a dual layer filling. There's our pressure reset. There. And we still need a drain, but I need to finish this getting this down first for those. Oops, there. Yeah. There. Okay, moving along. Doing okay. JM Hauser. Iron Ooh, somebody got some iron bolts done finally. Yahoo. Is over there. Do we have any trees up here? No. Okay, good. Alright, let's grab the T. Let's grab this stretch of trees right here. Let those guys work on that. Okay, they're working on that. Build TL lever or lever. Any propensity for language there in your particular dialect? Yeah, lever or lever, sure. I see your corn's done. We can throw that down in our kitchen. Build workshop Q corn. We have our kitchen located over here on the left, right? Yeah. We'll throw that right there. Yeah, more gems. Wahoo. No. Yeah. That tickles. There we go. Okay, our cistern's making progress. I'd like to get all that stone out of there. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, which is a bummer. I try to keep things pretty neat and clean, but it'd take a Herculean effort, and I've got a roof to build still. Let's see, floor. Probably just make my way out to the edge. And I can work it from there. How many blocks? No, not enough blocks. Granite, marble, microline, cobalite, claystone, 
Do I have any more blocks? No, cancel. Shoot. Oh well. Not much I can do about that. For now. What is that? Robot Battalion? Howdy. Glad to have you. Sorry I missed you sneaking into the channel there. I really wish it would, if it would beep when people type. That would just make life so much easier. Actually, now that I say that, I should really check and see if there's an option for that. And survey says no. No beep. Ah, dang it. Ooh, something finished. But finished. Uh, more meals. But how are we doing on booze? Eep! 84! Emergency booze conference. And suspend. Nope, there we are. Uh, we should really be having more kitchen. Oof. We have plenty of plump helmets. Why are you not like churning out booze like crazy? That makes no sense. Settings, food. We're fine there. You guys should be storing booze there as well. That makes me nervous. Alright, you guys are cruising along. Let's make this a three deep well spot here. Boom. Those guys do their thing. <sighs> How many dwarves are in the fort? Z, we have 81 dwarves. Not a substantial number, but a fair number, I suppose. Let's get this hooked up to a bridge. Yeah, bridge there. One, two. Okay, and we're going to need a lever down in our dining hall as well. LTL. Let's put that over here, right by the door here. And at least the chert up, why not? We gotta be able to make sure we can seal our fortress in the worst of circumstances. I do not need that bridge anymore. Get removed. That was our safety precaution, just in case uh, we ran into an issue when we were cave exploring. And once we have a few veterans of our military going, uh, we'll be able to conquer. Okay, we got an armor stand in the mayor's office. You should be even more happy now. Noble mayor. All we are waiting for are those tables. Tables, tables, tables. A lot of armor stands queued up still. Armor stands, weapon racks. Oh, they're, I mean, they're, they're plowing through it. We got enough people on it. They're just really taking their sweet time. Probably because they have crap for skills. Okay, at least one guy's cutting wood. Farm up above is doing okay. Farmers are busy, you just... That drink is getting really low really fast. Let's grab two more commoners and put them on brewing. Clear all labors. Customize. Brewer. Okay, so that brings our brewer count up to six. We have six brewers. There should be no reason why we have no brew. At all. You guys are all, like, churning out stuff. Let's make sure there's more people churning out pots. Just be safe. There, one more. How much world history did you generate on this session? I always go uh, 500 years. Um, so there's 500 years of world gen. So technically I don't think the world is old enough for any adult dragons. I think there are juvenile dragons uh, at this point. Um, in all the years I've been playing I've only encountered actually one dragon. 
So, plenty of colossi and forgotten beasts and all sorts of mayhem that way. But as far as dragons go, only one. And I think that's when I was going to 1,023 for World Gen. Um, I don't normally go past 500 because there was a glitch at the time where if you went past 500, all the Cabult civilizations would die. Um, I don't know if they fixed that or not, but ever since then it's just been a habit of to go to 500. Alrighty, our first floor, second floor, good. We can DZ, we can get rid of these ramps, don't need them, don't want them. I could try to get this cleared out, but I'd have to dump everything. That would put pretty much everybody with trash hauling on rock hauling duty, and that's a... A lot of rock. It's a ridiculous amount of rock, actually. Well, we'll see. It's uh, since the last series, I didn't get uh, run into any of those. I was trying to capture a Titan at one point, but it ended up getting killed. One of my favorite side projects, and again, I'll try to set up something for that, is I like to capture a forgotten beast in a pit and then feed it creatures. Alrighty. Actually, let's keep one ramp. Just one so they can get back up. And we'll go right around like... Actually, no, let's do this. This makes more sense. D H and then D Z. Get rid of that one. They can still get up through the water flow for now. Not terribly worried there. Okay. Come on. Oh yeah, we double find a paused. Rivet. Okay, doors, move along. Nothing to see. Yeah, I got five haulers, and they are using the wheelbarrow reasonably well. I also could make just a crap load of wheelbarrows, but they're only going to ever use three at a time, so it doesn't do me much good either. Set up a crossfire pit too. Yeah. One thing at a time. Let's see if we can get our serrated glass discs moving. I need a glass working individual. I'm going to just set all my commoners for glass making. And we'll see if whoever picks up some skill first. That's another strategy you can use for trying to get a particular person to skill up is if you have like a commoner block like I do, just set them all to do the task, let a couple people do it and see who picks up the skill. And then you can spe re-specialize everybody out that way. But we're not worried about the quality of our serrated glass discs. We just want to chop up people something fierce. So they'll use the sand, it'll free up a bag. We can get some more uh, collection orders in and wash, rinse, repeat. We want. We need 20 glass discs, 10 for each trap. Do, 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 do. Okay, bins are open there. We got that guy doing rock stuff there. Oh, we're almost down to one screen. Almost down to one screen. We got. Two coffins left, a cabinet, eight coffers, yeah. Got maybe ten minutes more. Depending on how busy people are keeping themselves. 
I am going to make some rooms here though. Uh, build, doors, planning mode. Just to get people the rooms that they want. And the doors really aren't all that terribly important right now. It's just to delineate the room for the most part. Check our rooms again. Q. Your room, 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 room. Dear DF Hack, we could really use a option to scan for beds that have not been turned into rooms, and then just perhaps automatically do that for us. That would be awesome. Unsuspend. 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 Although we might actually not have beds for those, which is probably why they're not doing anything. Alrighty, bed, 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 bed. Your room. You get a room, you get a room, everybody gets a room! Thank you, Urus Wimfrey. Or Oprah McDwarf. I always wondered, really, if it's if they're Scottish, it's Mick. If they're Irish, it'd be Mac, wouldn't it? There we go. All right, so that's a bunch more rooms for people to claim. Keep them off our back. Because again, there's nothing worse than being happy, cozy, and all warm and fuzzy in life, and then having a dwarf go berserk and stab you in the back with a giant battle axe. All while soothingly saying, shh, 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 it's okay, it's okay, you deserve it. Dwarves scare me sometimes. Alright, we've got plenty of... armor stands and weapon racks and all sorts of jazz like that. Let's get some of those built. Just because I don't feel like decorating them. We're going to stash them here. We'll go... Let's see, that's weapons. This is armor. So we'll go armor, 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 armor. And let's go weapon rack. do. Southwest room. Alrighty. Let's take a look here. Yes, because there's a dead dwarf there. Let's see. Inteb Amel stills rotting mangled corpse. Oof. So, we have our first dead dwarf. He wasn't killed in combat, so he does not get buried with honors. But, we might as well get this started. We do have an undertaker for a reason. No, I don't want pets. Pets go against the wall. And here. My question is, is how did he die? He must have fell. Combat. No, he, yep, he fell. See, this is the consequence of having that trap hallway. He was fighting a key, apparently, and then, um, dodged off of the edge. So, the trap hallway is working as intended. Just, it works just as well against us as it does for us. So, yeah, that's no good. And the one thing I dislike is you cannot give nicknames to the dead. Because right now, the first thing that's sticking in my head is we should have nicknamed him the Clumsy. Yep. Yeah. 
And there goes our Undertaker hauling his ass to the crypt. Kind of curious in which one he's going to get buried in. And you get buried in that one. Oops, I want to shift N. Note, place, name, first, dead dwarf. And let's see here if I can. No, I don't want that. I want to change symbol selector. There we are. And no, I want it. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Yeah, and then what is it here? Yeah, there we go. Minus. There. So now, if I hit shift in. Should have a first dead dwarf. Okay. Not worried about the color. Apparently, I have to do that before I place it, but oh well. So, we'll never forget that he was our first dead dwarf in this fortress. Let it be said that we will never for forget um, uh, Itab Amostil's a commoner. Yeah, he died because he dodged a keat and fell to his death. He's the clumsy. So our room is ready for a flood-in. We have a pressure reset there. We're okay. Everything's okay down here. DBD dump. Let's see if we can, in fact, get this cleared out before I flood it. It's going to be a hell of a labor force movement, but the hell, why not? Can't hurt, right? We'll get this rock dumped. This rock dumped, and we got to dump all the way up the shaft, just in case. There and there, and we desperately need a door here. Alrighty. Now that we got that dug out, let's see if we can find ourselves a drain. Conveniently, we have a spot where we can use a drain. When we stop and think about it, we can. Where are we? There it is. All right, so we have to go up here, up here, up, up. There it is. Dig H. We can put a drain here. And we'll work our way backwards. In. We want to go to the furthest point away, which looks like right here will work. Perfect. All right, so the advantage is because this is already one deep, that will always stay fully flooded at this level. If it fills and spills over, it'll come over and down the drain. We technically don't have a way to drain out the very, very bottom. Although we can actually set up a second drain if we really want to. In fact, we probably should. Just so we can get that finely drained out. Actually, what we could do is right here. We can drain at this point. Screw this point. Sorry, guys. Your project has been canceled. D. We'll go here, J. 
there. DVD dump. Dump that as well. There. There. Now we can drain all both levels. Hmm. Out of coal? Yeah. We need more charcoal. We've got plenty of wood now getting chopped up, but we have uh, two charcoal jobs and everybody else is busy doing other stuff here. Let's make sure all of our commoners have wood burning. They do. It's just a matter of getting to uh, burning the coal. But now that we're uh, dumping all this rock out, yeah. That's going to be a problem until we get all this rock out of here. On the plus side, it's a little cross-training. Give our dwarves a little exercise. Disadvantage, it's going to take a, a, a bit of time. But we're not under siege right now. I don't have to seal the fortress at this exact moment, so might as well. If anything, it's cross-training. Q. Speaking of that, add bridge. We want to make sure we can seal our fortress. The worst case scenario. there. Yep, we are draining off the side of the map, but if you look, we drain off the side of the map right here. So we're a Z level above. Advantage is, if we build a grate, creatures can't deconstruct from below. Which of course would require us actually getting our floor grate jobs actually completed which is still sitting in limbo. Why? Because we have so many rock jobs going right now. So we're getting there. We're just finishing up the weapon racks. Build the rack. Now our, we'll get the rest of the other half of this hallway done. We'll deconstruct these as we need them for nobles rooms. We're just stashing them here for the time being. So they don't get clogged in our decorating workflow. We do want them decorated if we can. I mean, they're a cheap and easy way to boost people's moods, especially nobles, but right now I'm more interested in getting our beds finished up and our tables and whatnot for our hospital. It's just a matter of time. We've already lost three of our our cities and our civilization to a war, so it's just a matter of time before they come knocking on our door. So, we gotta hustle. May not seem like it, but we are. It's just we have so much going on. What was that god awful quote from that Star Wars film? It's so dense. It's just, there's so much going on in the scene. It's so dense. Well, you're right about one thing. It's dense, all right. All right, DVD dump. Let's get the rest of this. And anything in our hallway. And anything over here. There. So, yep, when we uh, dump out to the water, it's going to spray down uh, from 1Z level above. And if we put a grate there, that means the Forgotten Beast, unless it's a, a mist base one, won't be able to come up through our sewer system. What is it with the ricks? Okay, not a fan of, uh, no, sorry, I met with the fortification carved into the stone on the edge of the map rather than using uh, the caverns. Um, I've never actually bothered to do that because I've always just dumped it out of uh, through the cave system. 
Um, what I usually do is I drop like chickens down that hole first so they kind of can explore. Sometimes they'll build a nest or two down there and kind of get a an automated exploration system going, but it's just a habit that I came up with because some forgotten beasts, if they're made out of mist, can move through a fortification, so it always kind of came to my mind, if I do a fortification at the edge of a map, that doesn't necessarily prevent a mist-based creature from getting in, especially when the clowns show up. What? Whoa, I saw something. Ooh, has created a masterpiece granite weapon rack. Somebody's got some skills. That's right. That was one of our strange mood guys. Okay, that's marked for dumping. Good. Build workshop masonry. Since they're dumping the rock right here, I might as well get another one built right there and just get that stuffed with block jobs. Booze. 96. We're up from 81. I guess that's progress. Not the best progress, but it's progress nonetheless. We got people hauling in wood. Our idler count is at 13, though. Why so many? Profession. Sort by race. That's right, I don't have a lot of people on uh, cleaning. There. Cleaning. Let's get everybody on wood hauling too so we can get all that stuff tucked in where it belongs. See if that drops down on idle. I like about I like 10% idle. And with the 82 doors we've got, eight's good. So I'm not terribly worried. Looks like we're sitting at about eight right now, so so far so good. How's our cleaning out going? Yeah, surprise! Telling you, some of these mothers are some of the strongest dwarves I've ever seen. They'll carry a boulder in one hand and a kid in the other. So the cat guy made something useful. No, he made a damn ring, but he made it out of cat leather, jewels, and granite. And now you figure, you know, you got a what? Maybe a typical cat, maybe eight, twelve pounds at most. It's a big cat at that point. You're only like seven pounds. And you think about how much cat leather there is, and then he uses an entire boulder. Something that's difficult for a dwarf to carry. We figured dwarfs, what, four feet, five feet? Maybe we're, let's just say the boulder's about the size of a bowling ball. So you got like a 12 pound uh, piece of granite there. Maybe half a pound of cat leather. Uh, a few cut gems and a few raw gems, and he made a ring out of it. Where the hell did all that stuff go? Did he need like just one very specific piece of cat leather? I don't know what kind of ring that would be. I don't want to visualize that. That's just gross. But again, I have dwarves that will eat an elf, so, you know, for what it's worth. All right, so you guys are, a lot of rock getting moved. That's fine. I don't have my grates yet. I'd like grates, please. Of course, with everybody pulling rock out right now, that's going to bring everything to a screeching halt. But, again, some good cross-training. Sapient food and leather supply. Yep, that was that's what I was counting on, and sure enough, not a damn goblin to be seen, let alone a kobold. But they have no problem kicking all of my uh, uh, sister city's asses right now, so figure that one out. Well, one thing I can do while I'm waiting, build L. Uh, that's right, I don't have any chains or ropes. Uh, JMQ, iron chain, I'm going to need, let's say 20. Actually, no, I'm going to need a full 30. I still have to make a JL. Speaking of which, might as well start that too. One, two, three. Nice narrow, creepy hallway. One, two, three. There. Elf 
oilskin boots. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. My personal favorite one, though, is because I use bone arrows, is uh, using like goblin bone uh, arrows for target practice. There's just something creepily gleeful about using the dead bodies of your enemies uh, for making bone arrows. Yay, rock coffins are finally done. Holy crap. That's one hell of a log jam out of our way. Finally. Everybody's hauling wood in. That's good. Farmers are still getting some work done. That's surprising. We're almost done with our kill pit rock problem. That's almost taken care of. So, so far, so good. Not too shabby. Alrighty, 6.30 guys, I gotta call it. I gotta start dinner, you know the drill. Again, wherever you happen to be, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to have you guys. It makes my gameplay much more entertaining than it normally would be. Again, feel free to ask questions. I don't pester you with all the other crap that most people do when they post videos, so you know what to do if you're planning to do it. Enough said. So, thank you for stopping by, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to post them. This will get posted over to the YouTube channel, and uh, I will see you guys next stream. I don't know, again, 15, 20 minutes before I get an opportunity. All I can say is somewhere between 4 and 5 p.m. Central, and usually between an hour and two hours, so... Again, guys, I appreciate it, and gals, and uh, I'll see you next time. Provided, again, I can find the damn icon, because it keeps moving every time. Ah, there it is. Good night.